Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Mr. Baker and Mrs. Adamo heading down to the library to work with some of our kids here today. Boys and girls, you can see this beautiful shade structure that we've just had installed yesterday over the top of our lovely playground. Some kids down there having a little bit of fun. You can hear them laughing in the background. And boys and girls, we're on a search again today just to try and see who it might be who's going to read a story with us this morning. Now, I know that there will be somebody down here. I've just got to try and find them. Where might they be? Not over in the garden. But boys and girls, you'll be very surprised when you get back. There are lots of pumpkins growing in that garden over there. Lots of pumpkins. Uh, what else have we got? So it's very nice and shady in here. Is that down the bottom of the slide maybe today? Hmm. I uh, can't see anyone down the bottom of the slide. Hmm. Not in there. Huh? Hello. Oh, Mrs. Pedersich, how are you today? Well, thank you. Well, thank oh, you for coming out. Love that you're sitting here with your lovely pink bucket that you have there. Oh, wow, wow. Well, Fantastic. Oh, very good, very good. All right, well, Mrs. Pedersich, thank you for coming and thank you for letting us join you to read with you today. Um, what have you got for us today? I have got one of my favourites called looking for crabs. Looking for crabs. Mm -hmm. I love going to the beach and collecting shells, but sometimes you can find crabs as well. Okay. I wonder if you could spot some on the pages as I read. Looking for crabs is by Bruce Watley, an Australian author. I love going to the beach for holidays. Sometimes it's too cold to swim, so we go looking for crabs. Rock pools are a great place to look for crabs, but you have to be very quiet. Now, crabs can be difficult to find. You have to look really hard, but try not to scare them. Dad says crabs are usually found under little rocks at the bottom of rock pools. Hmm. Mum says you have to tread carefully so you don't hurt them. But I don't think there can be any crabs at our beach. Hmm, do you think so? Even when Dad lifted up a really big rock, we didn't find any. Really? Mum said they were probably out to lunch, but I think they were just hiding. Crabs are very good at hiding. I couldn't see any in my little pool. Sometimes you find hermit crabs living in little shells, but not when we were on holiday. Where do they go in the holidays? Dad suggested Hawaii. My little sister said Disneyland. I told them we just weren't looking hard enough. I wonder where they do go. I don't know where the crabs go in the holidays, but one thing I do know. There are no crabs at our beach. I don't know about that. Well, thank you, Mrs. Pettis. They're tricky, those little crabs, aren't they? Good at hiding. Oh, probably a bit like our kids. They're pretty good at hiding too when they're back here in the playground with us. And Mrs. Pettisich, would you like to sing a song with me today? Sure, I'd love to. Now, Mrs. Pettisich doesn't know what song we're going to sing. It's going to be like a mystery surprise karaoke. But Mrs. Pettisich, I'm just going to move the camera oh, over know. here. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. It has some actions that go along with it. And boys and girls, you can do the actions at home if you want as well. But we're going to try and do the actions sitting down. So, it's called the Hokey Pokey. Oh, you know that one? An oldie All right. 
Right. We'll start with our left hand, shall we? All right, let's do that. Start that. All right. So watch Mrs. Petisic for the action, and you can join in with us at home. Right, here we go. Put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in, and you shake it off. You do the hokey pokey and you turn it around. That's what it's all about. All right, you put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you shake it all around. these actions to Peter Rafferty from the Ducks on the Pond because they're his ones that he does with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. You put your eyebrows in. You put your eyebrows out. You put your eyebrows in and you shake them all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. All right. You put your nose in. You put your nose out. And you put your nose in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Here we go. Oh, the hokey pokey. Oh, the hokey pokey. Oh, the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. You can go. Got a bit of an exercise there. Thanks, boys and girls. Thanks, you, Mrs. Petersich. Thank Thanks you for reading everyone. us today. I hope you enjoyed it. Who will it be tomorrow? Could be me. Could be someone else. But, boys and girls, tune in again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for our rhyme and story time. See Bye. you soon.